Well, the second Masterworks program opens with one of the great works, one of the warhorse pieces in the history of classical music, and that is Beethoven's Violin Concerto. Beethoven had already written some of his uh, most revolutionary works. When you listen to the Beethoven Violin Concerto, you feel as though every single note just naturally has to flow from what came before. It is so gorgeous and so beautiful. It's, it's inexorable. Uh, one of the most beautiful slow movements of any concerto. And we have a terrific violinist coming, James Ennis, um, one of the great solo artists in the world today. Uh, he has visited San Diego in the past years, a couple of times, I think. Um, not, not so recently. Uh, it'll be great to have him back. Uh, he is just a stunning musician, a stunning violinist. Uh, you hear phrasing and speaking and singing when you hear him play. Adams. John Adams' Harmony Lyra, his, his piece that he wrote in 1984 called Harmony Study, Study of Harmony, taken from you know the title of books by famous composers of the past, Schoenberg had written a study of that name, uh, an actual textbook. Um, in 1984, John Adams faced kind of a daunting task. You know, today we think of John Adams automatically as one of the pillars of American composition, of, of, of American minimalism in composition, that whole style of music. In 1984, he was just starting out. And this is this is one of the pieces, in fact, this is perhaps the piece that really kind of broke things open, really put him on the Meaning map. that he would write a piece that would fit each instrument so beautifully that the orchestra would just sound fantastic. When you heard the big chords, when you heard the lines, they would, they would fit to the instrument so beautifully that the orchestra just sounds fantastic when you hear any note of this piece three days later. It was recorded in 1984, 84, 84, three days after the premiere by a then much younger, obviously, Edo Duvart, a conductor who has had just a, just a remarkable career. It's just a wonderful, wonderful musician. In fact, he did come as a guest to the San Diego Symphony last season, and the orchestra really enjoyed him very much. Uh, he's a wonderful musician. He gave the premiere. He has recorded that piece. He made that recording. He's made it, I think he's made more recordings of it since. Um, and he will be our guest conductor for Masterworks 2, coming to play that piece. So, and of course that piece really broke on the world. People listened to that recording and sort of it was a new era in American music was sort of being launched. That if you happen to be a, a fan of The Matrix, the first Matrix movie, you hear in that, and I don't know if the composer of that score was literally thinking about John Adams, but the exact technique of bright chords that morph through each other in the brass from one key to another, so you don't really know where you are, you feel like you're floating on this liquid metal, uh, that that you hear in the Matrix all the time, you know, whenever you see these wonderful visual effects that they had in that movie. Well, John Adams did that in this piece in 1984. And if you come and you listen to the first movement of this, you, you know, if that's your, if that's what you know in culture, you don't know this piece, but you know the Matrix, you're going to suddenly think that you maybe you're listening to that music. 